Hey guys! So, March is pretty much done, so, well, depending on which day I upload this, because last time I was like four days late. But yeah, if I'm right, today is the 30th and March is pretty much done, and so I'm gonna be showing you guys some of my March favorite stuff I've been loving all month and I've been just using like crazy. Okay, so starting off with skincare, I actually been really loving these two products and they're both by Estee Lauder. It's the Night Repair Cream and the Day Wear Cream and I use these for about a week and I would apply this one morning and night and this one just at night and oh my gosh, like my skin looks good. Like, okay, so I have kind of patchy red skin and it started to fade a lot when I was using it and it was really cool. I wish I could have been using this all month, but I went to the dermatologist and they prescribed me some medicine and they only want me to be using that, so sadness, I can't be using this anymore. But no, really, I really recommend this. This is amazing and it is a little pricey, but I got the little sizes of them, so so foundation is one of those things that even I struggle a lot to really get right and with this foundation it just always looks so good and it's a drugstore foundation so this is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin and you guys saw me use this once before in I think my spring makeup video which I'll link down below but this is a really great foundation. I have dry skin and this didn't cling to my dry patches well very much it did a little bit just because I'm peeling a lot because of my medicine but this actually makes your skin look so smooth and so flawless and like it's not to the point where you're far away it's like oh yeah I look good and then you get up close to a mirror and you're like ooh, like it's not like that like it actually does look really good on your face and it lasts a really long time I actually fell asleep in this and in the morning my my skin still looked pretty good so eh good foundation. Sorry about my hair but it's looking whack. I don't I don't even know what happened today. It's just weird. Okay, so when it comes to blush and stuff, mine never really lasts. And I don't apply a lot. I just apply a little bit, but it never really lasts. And I've been really liking these two. This one's the e.l.f. HD blush and this one's the NYX stick blush. And this one's a little less pigmented, so it works really well. You know, it's not so hard to work with. And it's just a nice kind of it's not vibrant pink, it's... I like totally lost what I was going to call this right now. I don't know, it's just a pretty pink. Yeah, it's really pretty. It's in the color Pink Lotus and it's fairly cheap and so I really like it. It stays on very well, blends out super easily and it's just awesome. And this e.l.f. blush, now this stuff is really, really, really pigmented so you got to be really careful with it. It's actually kind of like separating right now, so you gotta like shake it up. But um, you only need the smallest little bit and it like goes on your cheeks so well. It's actually, I'm wearing it right now. And I really love it. It does last a really long time too, so it's great for like a night out. And I love to apply those uh, cream and stick blushes with my e.l.f. small stipple brush. I love this brush. It's even really good for foundation. I really like it. It's really good quality. Like sometimes e.l.f. has amazing stuff and sometimes it's like eh. Like their brushes are not always, they're really good. Not always. Are. Their brushes are not always really good, but anyway, yeah, this one's really good, and I actually have a MAC 130 brush, and I actually like my e.l.f. one more than my MAC one, so, you know, I would pick this up. It's only like a dollar, so. Okay, so this is something I just can't live without. I've actually had this since I barely started makeup, and this is actually my second purchase of it, because I had the little one, and then I dumped it everywhere, so I got the bigger one, and I still dump it everywhere, but yeah, this is the Makeup Forever HD Powder, and this is probably the only powder I will ever rave about. It is so amazing, like, it's ultra fine. It makes your skin really, really soft and it's just so amazing. It fills in all the little gaps that your powder or your foundation didn't reach and it just makes your skin look so flawless and I love putting it under my eyes because my under eye concealer creases really really easily and this will not let it crease and it makes it so smooth. It's just an amazing powder all around. Okay now this is a strange thing to talk about. I was kind of you know, contemplating on talking about it. It's my Naked 2 palette, but I'm not gonna be talking about the entire palette, which I absolutely love the entire palette. I mean, it is so beautiful, but no, actually, I haven't been using this entire palette all month. I've actually been using the color Blackout every single day without fail. 
because I used to tight line my eyes with a um, a pencil and it would always smudge onto my bottom lash line or it would just kind of be a mess and it and sometimes I'd stab myself in the eye with the pencil but I really like this because all you do is take a, like a flat little brush and you push it right between the lashes and it doesn't smudge or anything and it doesn't irritate your eyes so and this is really nice black it's just matte black so yeah kind of weird to mention this but I've been loving this color <laughs> Okay, last makeup product. I've been using this like crazy. I pull it out of my benefit bag almost in every single class of mine. It's my MAC lipstick in the color Cream Cup and it is, oh my gosh, it is so pretty. I'm wearing it on my lips right now. I've been wearing it every single day. I'm like so addicted to it. It's just such a creamy formula and it's like such a perfect pink. It just goes with my fair skin so well. And MAC lipsticks are absolutely amazing. Like, they're not too pricey, and they're just, I love them. And they actually taste a little good. I wouldn't say it's like, you know, like eating a cupcake or nothing, but no, it does taste pretty good. I just love it. Okay, last item of the day. It's actually a necklace, and I've been wearing this so often. Like, I try not to take too many, like, Instagram pictures or something in it because I don't want people to be like, didn't you wear that yesterday and the day before and the day before? I'm just kidding, but this I've been wearing like crazy. It's my statement necklace and it's from Azkara. It's just really simple, but it goes like with everything. It's just really pretty. It's gold and a pearly white and it's just so pretty. As you can tell, I have another one. I just love statement necklaces for the spring and summer. I think they're so pretty. And this was fairly well priced. I think it was only about $15, $20. Something like that. Usually statement necklaces are about $20, so they're a little more pricey than just a little simple chain, but I think they're worth it because they're just so beautiful. <laughs> Alright guys, that's it for my... Alright guys, that's it for my March favorites. I hope you guys like this video and make sure to favorite this favorite video and like it and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.